Hi guys, once again this is Alfred from Amassers.com. I'm back. This time I'm going to answer a quick question uh, that I had recently on YouTube. Thanks to everyone that's been commenting uh, on the video. I'm trying to get all of these questions answered, but I really had to plan to do this already. So that's why I got a video response. The question is, Alfred, will you do a trade example of how to use deviation levels trading Bitcoin and crypto, putting some of this stuff together? Thanks for another great video, bro. Keep it up. Okay, um, you're very welcome, DeAndre. You've been uh, on my channel now for a long, long time. Uh, I know he's trading Forex. I'm dragging everybody uh, into crypto, kicking and screaming. I had planned on doing this, uh, just recording some trades and uh, sharing a trade using the deviation levels, but uh, since you asked the question, uh, I'm going to use a trade that I had in my MT4 history. I tried to record this trade live, but this is an hourly chart and you can see I was actually, I got in the trade here and I got out of the trade down here at the bottom of this candle these are hourly candles so it was four hours and my computer crashed on me with my recording but I'm still able to pull out of the history and put this back on a chart so we're just gonna look at it here's a chart and what I mean by subjective and objective is if you if you look at this chart why did I get in the trade why did I choose to sell here and close my trade down here now I'll tell you I'll give you this for free I closed my trade pretty close to the entry because I was trying to get in and out of a, of a trade fairly quick and then that way I wouldn't have much footage to edit but why did I get in there okay you may say well because of all of this big movement up okay big is subjective if you don't have anything to measure it there's the scaling see I pull that back now where's the big movement that is relative to the scaling the thing that's great about putting key levels like deviation levels and especially if you have the probability plugged in with the statistics is that all of a sudden what's subjective you may say it's big I may have my scaling set different and I say no nah, that's a small move I may have my scaling so far down I don't even see the move at all however when I bring real accurate measurements in there's the same trade and the only difference is that I've put the trade I've put the levels on there's our plus 0.5 now plus 0.5 you know I like I often talk about well there's breakouts there because if we hit the 0.5 we can often keep running and go to the plus 1 okay I saw us get here to plus 0.5 and then we rejected then we got here again and <coughs> excuse me then we rejected and then we broke but we started rejecting just above it so I took a flyer and I sold there that's why I got in the trade when you have the levels everyone with this level everyone with the data on their chart can see the same thing here I overlaid the pivots look here's how we're rejecting central pivot that would have been a better place to get in but I just I wasn't on the chart then didn't see it okay this is R1 we got through that and I know what what key level do I have past R1 because I've got my deviation levels on the chart well there's half deviation 
and I see that R1 is kind of close so that should be an area that's interesting now of course when I got in and this is cool it happens in a trade I got in the market still kept running what was the next place I could have looked for something at that's R2 we didn't get there we failed to get there and when we get when we saw that failure when I saw it that's great to me because that's that would have been in my mind the next objective place for the market to go for the professionals to go to find some liquidity and they couldn't or didn't get it up there so shortly after that you start to see that push down and then I was able to exit but it took about four hours let's keep going forward next day okay there's central pivot this is the new central pivot okay it's pushing down we broke that central pivot what's the next stop here there's the next stop that's S1 support 1 on the pivot points okay what's the next stop there's half deviation okay we had a huge well I won't say huge but at this scaling it looks pretty big we had some volatility and we broke that when I see volatility in the price action we're breaking it with authority it looks like that then I think that okay that's that's a better sign if I want to trade the breakouts at the half that's a better sign like over here we hit the half but why did I why did I sell there because look at the size of that candle and then look at the size of this candle see it's it's a lot more action right here and more volatility so I would have believed in that being a breakout I didn't trade that break though again I wasn't there at the charts but there's half deviation in consolidating there and then where do we stop at where's where's the next level there's s1 there's half deviation where do you go to next there's s2 and then where do we stop at where's the next level negative one deviation and look we had a probability of 48 percent to get there so it was 50 50 <laughs> but again when we break that half deviation with authority yeah we can often keep going and you can have another one of those key levels then the, somebody's gonna take control because nobody wants the market to run forever especially not the market makers so they're gonna try and get us somewhere back around reasonable levels and that's just the negative half deviation that was the end of the day on Friday so that's an example guys of how to take this which is just very subjective I know guys love price action I trade price action I showed you the price action and how I'm mixing it with the key levels and taking it from this where the candles are as my brother says just floating in outer space over here to this where you've got all of these levels lined up proven uh, levels that I've been trading with for almost 20 years now so I hope this is helpful I hope this gave an example a real life example of putting these levels on your charts we're still offering the deviation levels with the probability percentages on our site right now amasters.com I'll leave a link in the description hope this video is added some value and it's assistive and someone that's out there on uh, trading these markets see you guys on the next video once again like share comment subscribe this is alfred from amasters.com